Hypocrite? God. You're a hypocrite. You're such a hypocrite. You're such, you're a, such hypocrite. a hypocrite. You're a total and hypocrite. You're such a hypocrite. You're such a hypocrite. hypocrite. I can't believe I'm such a hypocrite. <laughs> Hold up. Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerdut's Newsstand, and we are going to talk about a new project that Warner Brothers has greenlit. Now, this is going to be a very, I'm guessing, an unpopular opinion, and I'm okay with that because I already know it's going to happen. Now, I am curious, before I get into the subject, what about a character really stands out to you? What is the first thing that really draws you in? Comment it down below, hit like, subscribe, and let's talk about Warner Brothers greed lighting Constantine with Keanu Reeves. What the? Okay, first off, the, f the movie was fine. There was nothing wrong with the first one, I guess. If you know nothing about Constantine, you're going to enjoy it. Now, does anybody else remember Warner Brothers green lighting another sequel or actually the fourth recently when it comes to Keanu Reeves, maybe in the way of Matrix, maybe in the way that everybody hated it, that a lot of fans were really disappointed in it? Yeah, I did not say and I agree with or disagree because I know nothing about the Matrix films, but I do believe in patterns. And when you're constantly doing this, I'm not a big fan. First off, the question I asked in the beginning, what do you notice about a character? When it comes to Constantine, the first thing I notice and will always notice, and that is inherent to his character, is the way he speaks. That is absolutely something you cannot change. And that is the first thing they did. They made this character something completely different. And I really, I liked it as a movie again, but it was not a Constantine movie to me. If John is not walking in, coming out and saying, I'm a bastard, or I'm dirty, or saying his smart-ass remarks, I'm not in. I'm not game. That is not my Constantine. Now, if you enjoy it, that's awesome. Go for it. But this is dumb, because this movie existing was the reason why J.J. Abrams got taken away not only his Madame Xanadu series but it's Constantine series. And it's the reason why Constantine could not show up in Sandman. And that was the weakest episode with Joanna Constantine. We could have had John Constantine and it would have been so much better, but no. And we also already have a really great Constantine in the Arrowverse. Now I'm not a huge fan of the Arrowverse, but the actor does a phenomenal job at channeling everything that is John in is every single fiber and Keanu Reeves is just ain't it it just is not it like you don't even care to put on the the Dan jacket what's the point in all of this like I'm not sure I've seen a lot of people happy with this this is like the first official thing that they've greenlit since it's been WB Discovery and that's great that's wonderful why not green light something like, <laughs> I don't know, a um, Superman movie? Just putting it out there. Why not a Superman movie? Instead of a Constantine, not Constantine, story. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so it is producing with J.J. Abrams' Bad Robots, but still, he was going to do a series. And I was hoping we'd get to say Z a little bit. But no, that would be, that would help bring me on board with this series. If we found out for some reason that Zatanna was going to be in it, but is it going to have anything to do with the first? Is it going to start something new? Is it going to matter to the picture? They said they have a 10 year. They said they have a 10 year plan. Was this part of it? Because I'm already doubting the level of capability within your plan. I sound like an asshole. I know this. I know a lot of people really like Keanu Reeves, and I like Keanu Reeves, but he is not Constantine. Just, you can't even color your hair. Like, you can't even put on a little bit of an accent. I, I know they did, like, the smoking, you know, they did that because smoking is comical, right? Funny, ha, ha, ha. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't have 
bad memories of that movie and it's been years since I seen it. But I also don't have good movie <laughs> memories of it. I remember watching it like Concept Sarah? Who the fuck is this Constantine? This then yeah. No, I just wasn't a fan. So let's take a look at this real quick. Um I again, if you're into it, awesome. This not my Constantine. Um, here is a resurrection of DC a character worth getting excited over. Who? Who's excited? All right, sure. Um, Warner Brothers will develop another installment. Okay, of 2015's or 20, 2005 supernatural thriller Constantine, and the studio is reteaming with star Keanu Reeves. Dumb. Hire someone new and director, or make him have an accent. Explain it some way. I don't know. I'm not the writer, but come on now. And uh, director Francis Loris, who made his helmet uh, debut on the original. Akiva Goldensmith will write the screenplay and produce uh, the project uh, through his Weed Road Pictures alongside uh, J.J. Abrams and Hannah Mengele. I don't know. They go over, it grossed over $200 million. What they're seeing here is dollar signs because of the first one did very well. Um, and that's all they care about. And that's fine. That makes sense, right? A company like this should be capitalist at heart. But I'm not seeing it. I don't think people are going to like it. I don't think, I don't know. I don't know. I, I really don't like this. Reeves will reprise his supernatural exorcist and demonologist John Constantine, who in the original is dying and stays around to save his soul from keeping demons from hell from breaching earth. So in the original one, he was dying. I don't even remember that. So how are they going to explain that 17 years later, this motherfucker comes back and now hopefully, you know what? That's how you can explain the accent. I would. That's all I want. I just want his way of speaking and his trusty coat. That's it. He also gets between a battle of Archangel Gabriel and Lucifer. I do remember that um, being very cool. If I remember correctly, they're both female. And it was done really well. I could be wrong about that, though. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. The deal was shepherded by Warner Brothers Pictures and co-chairs Michael DeLuca and Pam Abbey, Lorenzo da 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 and Aaron da 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 will executive produce this project. Just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity. As a pop turn okay, wait. I was just seeing pass. Um I was just curious. Yes, please. Oh God, this is exactly what would be done. Um no, I just I don't understand it. Finally a good movie. Okay, sure. Sure, buddy, sure. I guess. Let me know what you guys think down below if you are interested in it whatsoever or if you're just like, you know what? You could have race swapped this to anything you want. Just give him his way of speaking. That's the most important thing in this situation. Not my constant.